we did not know that the Taliban could take over so quickly in that country, even though we've spent 20 years watching the Taliban. Over the last two decades, the number of military personnel in Afghanistan has gone up and down and up again. But the last few years, it was really supposed to be a non-combat role, training and assisting the Afghan forces. We did have air power in Afghanistan to back up those Afghan forces, and U.S. advisors were often with those Afghan forces, but we were told that the Afghans were taking the lead in those battles. And of course, what we saw is that that training uh, fell aside, that many of those forces just simply put down their rifles as the Taliban approached. The Taliban is a fundamentalist military organization that wants to take over Afghanistan again and invoke Sharia law. That is a very strict law. Women can't hold jobs, women can't be educated, they can't leave the house without a male counterpart. You have to have beards if you are men, you have to wear a burqa if you're a woman. This is how the Taliban views their role in Afghanistan. It is an extreme fundamentalist movement. This is why people are so afraid of the Taliban being there now. Afghanistan is so important to the United States because, look back 20 years ago, the attacks on 9-11 emanated from Afghanistan. Al-Qaeda had a safe haven in Afghanistan with the help of the Taliban. It's also so strategically located with Iran, with Pakistan, all around the, the Middle East. This is a, a, a very potent, a very volatile region, and the United States has to keep its eye on it. The president says Al-Qaeda is defeated there, but they're not completely defeated, and a terrorist by any other name is still a terrorist, and Al-Qaeda could certainly morph into some other terrorist organization. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.